What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to talk about the Battle Pass and really is it worth it? Is it good? You know, there's a lot of questions out there. Some people have not purchased it yet. Before we get into it, I'm going to say overall I think they have done the best with this game content-wise than they have in any other past title. In past titles we had to buy, you know, a season pass to get the maps. Well, this year we get the maps for free. In past titles we had to buy, you know, loot drops or things like that to be or to have just a chance to get lucky to get weapons. This year we do not have that option. The weapons are free. So I think overall they have done a really good job with the content this year. We have free maps, free weapons, and of course they do have a battle pass that you can pay 10 bucks for or a little more if you want to buy the more expensive premium version of the battle pass. Or you can just all together not fool with it and have the free battle pass, which does offer a good bit of stuff. So overall, I think they have done the best with content this year than they have in any other game, in my opinion. So first of all, the free Battle Pass, like I said, you can just hop in and play, have the free Battle Pass, and not have to pay a dime for it. You will get the, both of the weapons. I think it's at level 15 and level 30. And from what I have played, I, th I would say it takes 40 minutes to an hour to gain a level. So gaining 30 levels will not be that bad, even if you do not get to play a lot, because this Battle Pass lasts until January the 28th. Also, with the free Battle Pass, you will receive 300 COD points for free, so that is another good thing. But if you want to kind of make a step up from that, you can purchase the Premium Battle Pass for 10 bucks, or the little more exclusive Premium Pass for around 20 something You do not have to purchase either one of these. The $10 one starts you at level 1. That way you will gain an item every level from level 1 to level 100. With the more expensive, the $20, $25 pass, you gain the, battle, the Premium Battle Pass, but you also get the first 20 levels unlocked so you just kind of depending on what you want to do you have different kind of options now within this premium battle pass you will receive 21 different variants round about around 9 to 10 different skins i think it's around nine operator skins in total watches of course the two free weapons and also stickers um, charms that kind of thing overall i think the 10 bucks that you pay is not that bad especially when you gain cod points back you're going to gain 1300 cod points back with this premium pass so come next season, season two, you'll have 1,300 COD points if you don't spend them in the store. And you can purchase the next Battle Pass with the COD points that you earned in-game. Pretty much like the Fortnite model. And I think that's kind of what they designed this from. The Fortnite model for content is probably the best because you can earn your currency back that you pay for. So like if you've been playing Fortnite this whole time and you bought the very first Battle Pass and you did not spend your, you know, your currency you were making in-game, you were able to buy every season of Fortnite from just playing the game. That's going to be the same with Call of Duty. If you just play the game, you earn your COD points, you can buy every single Battle Pass from here on out until the end of time, whenever they stop you doing the Battle Pass system in Modern Warfare, and you won't have to pay for it anymore. Now, if you want to spend those 1,300 COD points that you make in the store, you can do that because the store has tons of cool cosmetic items. I would say most of those are going to range from about 5 to $20, and I'm sure they're going to make a lot of money with that because a lot of people like to buy different cosmetic stuff. But overall, the Battle Pass, I think, is definitely fair. I think it's probably the best content we've had within Call of Duty because we're getting free maps, free guns, and a Battle Pass that has free, cos you know, just cosmetic items. And you can either get the free version of that Battle Pass or a premium version. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on the Battle Pass. Do you like the way they have handled it this year? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you can get notified when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.